Good day everyone, Geek Joe here. Today we are going into part 2 of my Dell Power Edge R610 series, and we are going to take a look at the software I run on my home server. I am going to show you guys all of the services I run on my home server, but there are two key programs that I highly recommend if you are building yourself a media server, which we will get into. So, get yourself a cup of joe, and let's get started on with the video. So to start off, I want to mention these four programs which we are going to look at today. Plex Media Server, FileZilla Server, HMail Server, and DNS. DNS is a role you can install via the Server Manager, and as you can see, I have a total of five roles running straight from the Windows Server Manager. In Server Manager, I am running Active Directory of Domain Services, DHCP, DNS, file and storage services, which I don't use often, and IIS. I will go into detail about all of these roles in a future video. However, I'm just going to give a basic overview of how I use them today. Anyway, we're going to start off with the Plex Media Server, by far my favorite program for streaming media from my server. As you can see, I have a whole library of movies, TV shows, and photos for my family and I. This is perfect for me since I can stream these movies straight from my Xbox, PlayStation 4, Chromecast, and any mobile device such as iOS and Android, making this software something to take a look at. Next, we're going to take a look at my FTP. Now I usually just map network drives on all of my Windows computers to access these files since it's more secure. However, I like to use this when I'm far from home so I can access these files on a lightweight program such as IP switches WSFTP. This is usually how I transfer most of my files throughout my network. Another client I started to use recently is HMail Server. This is useful if you are running a home business and need email accounts. Currently I have this set up to local and I will be creating more accounts in the future. You can access these accounts via Microsoft Outlook. Now I just wanted to mention a few things with DNS also known as Domain Name System. I only really use this for web pages in my Active Directory domain as I need a DNS lookup to connect all other computers to the NetBIOS name. Here's an example of myself logging into the administrator account straight off of my server on another Windows computer connected to the domain. In conclusion, the two key programs I mentioned earlier are definitely Plex Media Server and FileZilla server. I will post a link in the description if you guys want to take a look at these programs or maybe even download them since they are highly useful. Anyway, thank you for watching. Please leave a comment, like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.